Hi, in this video we're going to create a 3D model by using a 2D image. So up here we will add and we will add a 2D image from file. So under th sample 3D models we've got some images and we will choose the earth and now it's automatically been added to the 3D model area so rules and all these settings will, will apply and it's been assigned to paddle 1. However we can see here it's been placed on to a 3D object of the rectangle. Uh, we have all these other options to try too, but for starters we'll just try the rectangle, so let's give that a go. And there it is, image of the earth on a rectangle. Okay, so we can wrap that 2D image around a variety of different 3D objects, including um, a sphere. And with some of these, like the sphere, you can wrap it side on to the sphere which will um, sort of paste it at one end and then stretch it across the other sides and then it'll look good at the other end as well. That's good for a, something like a, a face. If you take an image of a face you can paste that onto a sphere. But if we were wanting to make it look like the Earth then we would use the sphere wrapped. So it's wrapping the 2D image around the sphere. And so that's looking like the, uh, the Earth that we know and love. There's another uh, interesting option for spheres, the panosphere, and so this is essentially, you can think of it like a crystal ball, you're looking into the sphere, and so you're looking through the outside of the sphere onto the other side, so everything is kind of inverted. Um, and if you have any panoramic images, you can put these into spheres and you get this uh, fantastic panosphere effect. So we'll show you one of those that we've prepared earlier. It's under 3D files. We have examples, and we have an example of this panosphere car. And in this case, we're going to use the, the large panosphere instead of the small panosphere. And let's take a look. So here's our pedal, and here's the panorama. And we can literally look around this huge panorama of a car. So we're essentially inside the sphere, looking at the insides of the sphere. Great fun. Okay, so that's how you add a 2D image onto a paddle.